Hey guys, this is Ron from the Ride Chart Culture. Back at it again with another video. Thanks for watching. And again, guys, I'm much appreciated with the over 700 subscribers to the channel. Let me begin what we're looking at right now. A new app has arrived in the United States starting here in South Florida in Miami. This name of the app is called InDrive. I-N-D-R-I-V-E. If you're thinking about downloading the app, you can scan that barcode that's on the screen. Um, so it says finally rise that you need. I have been seeing cars all over Miami, all over Broward, all over Palm Beach with this wrap that says InDrive. So I want to talk about it because what is this thing? Too many Uber drivers are talking about it within the local Uber groups. It looks like it's something that's uh, driver driven because when you start looking into what they're about, it kind of it's like the it's kind of like what the drivers may be looking for. Maybe who knows? But let's see what they offer. City rides, city to city, couriers delivery, freight delivery. This is basically their website. They're in 655 cities, two billion of rides, 48 countries, 175 million app installs. Uh, this company had great success in the Latin America market. We're actually going to read that as well. Um, they're not only in Latin America; they're also in India, Asia markets, uh, European markets as well. Uh, but we're going to read why they're in the South Florida market, why they're trying to step foot in the U.S. market. So the app for fair rides. Why are they saying that? that you so as a passenger and as a driver. Let's read it. Offer your fare. Find a driver who accepts your offer or accept a driver's offer instead. So here's how it would work. You as a customer would order a car or order or basically do your route. You would put in a uh, amount of dollars that you are willing to pay based off what InDrive tells you. So InDrive will say estimated dollar amount this price. And you can do five dollars more, five dollars less, whatever, whatever you want. But their end job's going to give you a recommended price to do to get a higher chance of getting accepted, or you can accept a driver's amount that they are offering. So the driver can say, for this particular route, I'm willing to be paid thirty dollars. And then the passenger says, well, mine was twenty, but you know he's thirty-five. Maybe I'll go with thirty-five. So they could choose from that. Here's the other one. Choose a driver. You'll see the driver's rating and the number of their rides in advance. So what that means is, you could choose the driver. This is going to be, this could be discriminatory. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> this could be discriminatory. Um, I'm not on the racial side of things. It's, I'm more looking at more of the sex type of thing, right? Male or female. Um, maybe the person looks good and you're like, I want that guy. Or I want that girl to pick me up. Uh, let me look at the car. Um, be secure in your choice. We verify every driver's basic info and documents in the app. I want to talk about pros and cons in a second when it comes to choosing your driver. This is why Uber and Lyft kind of win in that because it kind of takes away the thought process or the lingering of should I go with this person or should I do this? Like as a customer, you want to hit it and go. Uh, safety features are uh, inside the menu. You can contact. Um, you got contact emergency service in the app. You can share your location with one of your contacts. Uh, by the way, guys, I don't have the app on my phone yet because I am renting a Tesla through Uber Hertz. So I can, of course, cannot put this car through InDrive. That doesn't work that way. Uh, okay, download the app. Open the city. Offer your fare. Choose a driver. Alrighty, media mentions. So you got the big guys New York Times, TechCrunch, Local Fox 5, Forbes, Bloomberg. So big people are on here. Here are some FAQs, and here's one I want to talk about: our cars equipped with child seats. Remember, Uber just put out uh, three, two months ago, uh, Uber child seat, uh, um, Uber booster seat, or whatever. I forgot. I, I even did the video. Um, it's not. I don't see it in Miami here. It's not in Miami yet. I haven't seen it. Orlando has been having it for over five years, but this here can say, "Hey, you could choose a driver if they have a car seat." You know, so driver can have their own profile, and you can click on it if you want as a passenger, and as a driver. You may be able to make more money depending on what kind of car you got if you have a child seat. Let's look at some news articles. For, uh, Fox Business says here, Uber Lyft get new competition in rideshare battle. Subtitle, InDrive is letting drivers in South Florida take 100% of the profits from each fare through 2023. So apparently that's a bonus. You put your own fare there, somebody accepts it. You make your own money. Um, let's see, InDrive differentiates 
itself through a bid based mo business model, right? The privately owned international ride hail company launched in 2012. So, just like Uber, Uber is private. This company is private. Uber is no longer private, they're public. They're on the, they had an IPO a few years ago. Um, they lost in 2012, expanded into 48 countries. The company, which surpassed 1 billion valuation in 2021, claims the world's fastest growing online ride sharing service, 175 million app download. Uh, Adam Warner, the InDrop Operating Strategy Director of America. I want to follow him. I'm going to try to see who he is. He's not concerned about the competition with Uber and Lyft because they have been, of course, Uber and Lyft have been going against each other um, to dominate the rideshare industry. Warner believes, he thinks that the InDrop's unique price model where the passengers and the drivers negotiate and agree on the price of each ride. So there's something to think there. It's really kind of an easy choice to come in and disrupt the game to show our peers that we're here to create something new. This is not. This is something that has been thought taught of. Uh, I've heard other companies. There's a company I talked about on here, Potswork, or Postwork. I'm sorry. Uh, it's on my history of videos. You can look at it, and I might put the link in the description where they were trying to do something, and I haven't seen it grown. It, it kind of like feathered away before the pandemic. So, but. InDrive is coming in. InDrive has been around since 2012, so they have some type of backing on them. Uh, let's see. Look, it says after a passenger registers for the app, they can put the input in the drop-off location and propose the price for the work for the route. And then counter offers or agreements from available drivers will appear on the screen. So this is between the customer and the um, the uh, driver. Uh, of course, the company provides the app and they also provide the customer right because they got to do the marketing let's see um warner acknowledges that the in drive model will take some time getting used to but he's confident that the company structure of giving a success in other parts of the world here's a vehicle in drive this is exactly what i've seen this is a honda accord in drive on the front doors and this big wrapped green wrap with the save more on longer rides um there's another app called Hitch that does city to city. So they're also trying to like compete with them as well. Um, I've been seeing all these cars all over the place. So it looks like the, the company takes a commission of 10% for each ride in the markets that it operates around the globe. We have the infrastructure and the ability to across the world to help invest in this market, in the South Florida market, Miami market, to really bring something different to it. All right. Looks like that was it. Sorry for the belly there. But uh, I'm going to put a link in the description there. Here's Forbes. I think there was some type of, uh, you can listen to the article if you want to. Jonathan Keen or Keeney says, here is a logo of the one. It's a Russian founded company. It's headquartered in California and it's trying to roll out in Miami and South Florida. So here's another article. And then Wikipedia also has something about it as well. Uh, founded in June 24th. 2013 in Yakta, Russia, and the headquarters in California. So I'll put that video there. So what do you guys think? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. This is a new app trying to come in. Alrighty, you guys can go through the website you run. I don't want to make the video too long, but they're trying to come in and they're trying to. They may be disrupting the market. I don't know. Listen, I'm always positive about things, trying to see what happens. Here's the pros that I think. Drivers have their own way to make their money. They can they can control how much they want. They say this. They they say, oh no, this person is offering twenty dollars. Let me put ten dollars on top of that, and I hopefully they accept my thirty dollars. The passenger choosing a driver. A lot of women may want to choose a woman driver. That may be an issue because you may have a guy who's weird who may want to uh uh who may want women drivers. That's why I have a little issue. We got too many crazy people out here. Too many crazy passengers. Uh, same thing with drivers. There's some crazy drivers. We don't know. The driver's, you know, looking for trips. Look at them. He looks at the name. He says, okay, maybe this person's name is a lady's name. And he wants that one based on the name. Because, again, you can negotiate the fare. Now, I could be wrong about it. They show the name of the um, person. So, but anywho, this is uh, something new. Let's see what's going on um, with it. And you guys give me your opinions below. With that, thank you guys for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Peace out.